I drove past a house upon Mockingbird Hill. My name's Sydney Bullens, and I'm a singer, songwriter, performer, recording artist. I guess that's about it. Do a couple other things on the side, but I'm a musician. This is a theater in Los Angeles where I'm doing my one-person show called uh, Somewhere Between Not an Ordinary Life. I'm telling my story from 1974 when I arrived in Los Angeles uh, as a young person to find my fame and fortune to the present where I'm a grandparent and uh, have transitioned uh, recently or in the last six years from uh, a woman to a man. In 1975, I had heard that Elton was going to be doing a press conference at one of the studios I used to frequent. I was looking through the glass of the, the control room into the studio itself where this press party was, and I turned to my friends who owned the studio and I said, I'm going in. I started mingling a little bit. I, he walks up to me and he says, I don't believe we've met yet. My name is Elton. And we chatted. I have no recollection of what we chatted about. Somebody came, took him away. Next thing I know, I get a tap on the shoulder. It's a woman who uh, says, what are you doing for the next two months? And I said, I don't know why. And she said, Elton wants to know if you want to go on the road with him. So that was a Wednesday night. Uh, uh, and Friday, I was rehearsing with Elton. And the next week, I was on the road with him. Time is a very interesting thing uh, to me. I have a, my first line in a song that I wrote after my 11-year-old daughter died was time has a different meaning to me now. Uh, meaning that, um, and especially she's been gone 21 years and in the last 21 years, time is fluid. And at my age now, I can look back and I can I have a perspective that somebody in their 30s and 40s doesn't have. Say I'm grateful for all the time that I've had because when in those times when you think you're wasting it, it's really space. It's a space where you're processing or you're, um, you're, you're, you're creating a space for something else to happen. So, and in my life, those spaces, as I look back, are some of the most important times in my life. It may not be the defining moments of my life, because I can name you the defining moments of my life, the defining times of my life. I may not be able to name the spaces in between, but those spaces in between helped me to, to move into those defining moments of my life. I wouldn't be sitting here now if it wasn't for uh, the songs that I wrote after Jesse's death, which became an album called Somewhere Between Heaven and Earth, which became a kind of a phenomenon around the world. No matter what happens, I will continue to create. Now one lives in the sky Going away from Mockingbird.